Okay, hey guys, this is Apex Wolf, uh, personal unicorn on PlayStation Network. This is me setting up my uh, Alienware Aurora R4 ALX. Um, about to bring it on in here, and it's going right on in there, right there in that big space where you see that blue cord. That's where it's going. Um, there's my surround sound setup right there. Um, I just have it all laid out like this until I get the monitor and stuff all in here. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna go bring the computer in and we're gonna set this bad boy up. Okay, first things first. I am going to, dang, I did not think the box is that big. This is the box with the keyboard and everything in it. Um, we're gonna be setting all this up first. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to, Take this dope mouse pad out. If that one is too big, I'm gonna put this one right back. Kid Robot mouse pad, uh, special edition, 985. You can't buy these anymore. Love this, love this so much. My favorite. I've used it forever. All right, um, let's grab this mouse pad here. Oh man, this thing is huge and it's thick too. Let me uh it's hard doing this with one hand. Whew. Man, this thing is twice the size of that one was. I'll be putting that one right there. Looks good under the desk right there. Nice. Gotta get a nice space for that. Cool. Putting this fold this up, put this back in. Like I said in my videos, I know people are like, oh, you're you're dumb, you keep everything, you know? I have this OCD and stuff that I have to uh, keep everything that came with my electronic equipment. Anything electronic I purchase, I keep the box and everything related to that item in the box um, for resale purposes as well as um, when I move or something, I have to... Uh, I have to be able to transport it safely and securely, and that's the only way I feel secure if I do it. Okay, uh, let's get the mouse out, as well as the power cord for the whole unit. Uh, let me open this power cord up real quick. Uh, PlayStation over there. How am I going to do this? Uh, there we go. Mmm, I love the smell of electronics when they're brand new. Power cord, uh, standard OSHA cable. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -doo. Don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, I'll know when I edit the video though. Okay, <clears throat> I was excited about this. Oh, that's dope, I didn't even see that. Little, let me see if I can see this. Uh, there's a little Alienware sticker right there. Pretty awesome. Great little touches. I think, I think Dell does a great job by, uh, promoting this. I know people say, oh, Alienware is garbage, and it's this and that. Well, you know what? I, I've used Alienware, and I have used it for a while, and I don't I don't really think it's garbage. I, I really like it. I really like the uh, everything they, they've done. Um, oh, cool. You got dual mode scrolling, as well as a profile set up for the actual um, unit itself. Let me wipe this off. Um, oh, got to plug it in and then insert the disc. That's what this little tab says right there. Uh, leave this instruction booklet in here, and then I will fold this back up, put this back in the box, right there, sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, very nice, I like how it's uh, woven in there too, very sweet. Pop this off, pop that off too, uh, I'll know pretty soon if anything is wrong with this. <laughs> Okay, let me, uh, great feeling in there, great feeling in the, uh, very nice feeling. Okay, let me unravel this. Okay, sorry, this is taking a little longer than expected. Just trying to unraveling everything. Well, this is going to be a set of videos, so it's probably going to be at least 20, 30 minute long video. It's going to take forever to upload to YouTube, I can already tell you that right now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. 
drop all this cable. That's a very long mouse cable. It's, this is the first one I've seen that's that long. Okay, now, now for the great part. Some gravy over here. Oh boy. Ew, ew. For those of you who do not know what this is, this is the keyboard. Let me take this huge box down. Oh, let me grab these paperworks and set them over here. Um, take my stickers out. Stickers. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Not at all. Okay. Set the box down. Right there. Now we're going to open the Alienware keyboard. The TAC X keyboard. I don't know if it's TAC or TAC or what. I mean, it's just TAC X. To me, it's TAC X. Come on. Open up. Ugh, there we go. This thing is a stubborn guy right here. It took forever for me to open this. Uh, install disk for the mouse. Right there. Um, how am I going to get this out? Oh, jeez. I'm just going to grab the side of the bag. Oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. What is all this? Okay, I'm going to have to set the camera down. This is getting too crazy. All right. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, uh, there we go. The, the camera keeps setting down a little bit. Oh man, dude, there's like 4,000 cables for this thing. Holy crap. Get the bottom out. Nice little hand rest there, guard rest. They're very big, actually. Very large. Larger than I thought it was going to be. And the keyboard. Again, cool little Alienware stickers. Love that. Great little touch that they added there. Customer support. I know people were saying, oh, customer support's garbage on, on the, the Alienware thing. That's actually not true. You know, I, found, I did some research and figured out why people say that. You know what? It's because their warranties expire. And then what are they going to do after that? The, Dell's not going to take back your computer if it's busted because the warranty expired. Oh, man. There are so many little stickers on this thing. It's getting kind of crazy up in here, man. Take this keyboard box. Set that over there. Ooh, nice little rubbery feet. Some nice little rubbery feetsies right here. Ooh, nice and squishy, squishy, squishy. <laughs> Sound like that stupid commercial. Squinkies! Um, figure out how to put this on here, man. I guess it goes like that. Oh, like that. It goes on top of the keyboard. Okay, pops right in. Dope. Cool beans. The keyboard is like a thousand times bigger than it was. <laughs> Jesus. That's a uh, nice little, uh, uh, what do you call it there? That's so you can switch from gaming to regular. Very nice, very nice. Mute button for all your volume controls. Yeah, sweet. Alien head. I uh, don't know too much about this stuff right here. I don't really think they should add that. Nice little button. Stop, play, rewind. This is volume controls. Everything I hear. Very nice. I don't really care for that. You know, not going to be really listening to music. This is going to be gaming and game design computer only, actually. Uh, holy crap.
Man, this is actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Should've got a bigger desk. Oh boy. Wow, that thing is a monster. Holy crap. It takes the whole keyboard stand up just with that add-on right there. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I'll probably move it over a little bit. Let me scoot this over. Hmm. I might. Yeah, you know what? I'll try that. Let me get the other side. There we go. Wow, this thing is pretty big, actually. Wow. Fills a whole... <laughs> I thought I was going to have some leeway here, but I guess I don't. Okay, cool. Now that we've done all that, I'm going to set the, com set the turn the camera off for two seconds. I'm going to slide my computer in here. I do have to set up my surround sound, so you see all those freaking cables right there, and then set up the internet cable as well, and set up these. All of this. All of this. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I got this all set up, squared away over here. All the speakers are plugged in to the back of my computer now, and I have the USBs and everything plugged into the computer now. It's not in all the way yet. I still gotta set the monitor up. It's right there. Uh, I do have another monitor coming very soon. I'm, I got one of those Wacom uh, or Wacom or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they're called. One of those uh, Cidic, uh monitors that you can draw on. You've probably seen them. It's primarily for character design, game design. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm going to continue to do. As well, I will be like an audio person as well. I kind of do everything, you know, I guess you'd say. Uh, drivers and documentation. Well, how's that going to help me if I can't see what I'm doing? Let me set this down. Get this thing out of the box. Boy. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wasn't expecting that. Oh man, there's so many cables. Holy crap, what do I even do with all these? I got like three power cords. A USB cord. Holy crap. Oh man. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all this. Side one. Right here. Then take out side two. Here's the monitor. This is an LED 1080, 920, 1920, uh, 1080p monitor. Check it out. It's a Dell. Uh, I don't even know. Man, there's so many numbers on these freaking boxes. I don't even know what to tell you. Oh, grah. And all the cables already fell out, so that's about it for this one. Here is the base for the monitor. Holy crap, this thing's like a freaking trophy, man. Let me see if you guys can see this. Man, it's like a freaking trophy. Holy crap. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this trophy here. Ah, jeez. Alright, well now I'm going to go over yonder and set this trophy on the back of, of this monitor here. Put this here so I don't scratch the screen or anything. This should be pretty self-explanatory. It should just pop on in. 
I'm guessing. Watch me completely mess this thing up right now. Yes. Man, I never even use instructions. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This thing has so many ports and cables on it. Let's look at the instructions real quick to see what goes to what. Okay. Now, but what if my computer has the other one? Connect the USB cable. So I gotta connect the whole thing? I gotta connect everything? Man, I'm running under USB ports. I'm gonna have to get a USB hub. Okay, obviously, you plug it into a monitor. Oh, you can turn it 90 degrees. Sweet. So if I wanna put it upside down, I can do that. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I actually have to plug in the USB monitor. Okay. Well, it looks like I've got to. Uh... Looks like I gotta plug the USB in there as well. Um, not quite sure what that. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay, there is a USB port here. I think that gives power to all these USB ports. There's like five USB ports on this actual monitor here. I mean, that's pretty cool. I guess you. I guess I could say it's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't really have a monitor besides my Mac that does that. Um, and it says we recommend using the white DVI cable. So I guess I'm going to be using the white DVI cable and shoving the uh, blue one. Okay, let me go set that up real quick. Be right back. Okay, there we go guys. Uh, basically done setting this up. Got to do a few minor adjustments to the screen, speakers, and that. But that's basically what my setup is now. I got a... Uh, I got an Xbox gaming controller on the bottom here, a couple games that I got for the PC, as well as the uh, Autodesk Entertainment Suite, and um, Adobe Master Collection right there. Um, I have to hook those all up in there today, might take a little while, but this has been my setup video for my Alienware ALX R4. And yeah, so like, comment, subscribe if you have anything to say that I didn't say or questions or whatever, let me know in the uh, comments below. And on top of that, add me on PlayStation Network. I'm accepting a lot of people. Uh, everyone's adding me right now. Personal Unicorn is my gamer tag on that. And yeah, that's, that's it. Alright guys, see you later. I'll be doing some gaming videos shortly. Talk to you guys soon, and see you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.